Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. For those who were unaware, the angry bird Michael Jones did a live stream about two weeks ago with a channel called Trinity Radio to respond to my reaction videos on his debate with Daniel Hakikaju. If you haven't seen my videos, I recommend watching those first. Click on the link on the top right for the playlist or in the description below. The topic was Jones's misquotes of the Bible in regards to minor marriage. Obviously, he tried to argue that the Bible does not support minor marriage, which is a completely erroneous claim. Anyway, he tried to respond to me on Numbers 31, Ezekiel 16, etc., and frankly, did an awful job. And I mean awful, as we will see in the coming videos. I had originally tried to set up a live stream with the Muslim cowboy and Daniel, but unfortunately our schedules were conflicting. So instead, I decided to make a few videos, breaking them down by topic, such as number 31 is equal 16, the Talmud, etc. I'm excited, and you should be too. One thing I want to just note is that these two guys in the live stream basically contributed nothing to the discussion. They were mostly there just for cheerleading. This guy especially was like the resident clown, whose presence was only for comic relief. His job was to make lame jokes, sometimes sexual in nature. At one point he even made a gay joke. I kid you not. At another point he went on a clueless rant about the meaning of a Hebrew word, despite admitting that his Hebrew was, quote, trash. His words, not mine. In fact, let's listen to that rant. This is what... Go ahead. I was trying to think of the word uh, kun, maybe, in Hebrew. I, th I think it's like firmly established, carries with it that sense mm -hmm. of... And as far as I know, and my Hebrew is trash, folks, so don't, don't bank too much on this. But of course, the reason why, as far as I understand, the reason why we have were formed and had grown... And I guess they would do that in the same with, you know, when they're translating uh, similar Semitic languages and stuff. It's, it's, Hebrew is in the perfect tense. And so when it's past time, they'll, they'll add, you know, had or were or something like that. Whereas if it's present time, perfect tense, it's has, you know, because it's the way you translate it. So you're dealing with these perfect tenses, but if it's past time, perfect, per, perfect tense in Hebrew always carries with it the sense of completion anyway, right? It can, so, it can. It, it really depends yeah. on context. And scholars debate about this per passage. Well, sure. But when you look at this context, it's it's coming back to, um, you know, after this process. And so I would think that in context, when I passed you again and saw you, after breasts had been, you know, were formed, had grown, you know, talking about pubic hair, um, it seems it seems to me that it does have a it, the context itself does bear out this sense of completedness by the time the second passing happens. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, but, wait a minute. Wait a but minute. But again, not a Hebrew yeah, scholar. He what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Why would you admit not being a scholar of Hebrew, but then still ramble incoherently on the meaning of a Hebrew word? Why not pick up a dictionary instead? Well, I did, and in the video on Ezekiel 16, I will show that Mr. My Hebrew is Trash had no idea what he was talking about. Yeah, so in... Other words, the live stream was painful to watch. Not only did I have to listen to the two cheerleaders, I also had to listen to Jones's deceitful claims, both about myself and his Bible's view on minor marriage. There were times when I was laughing at his stupidity, and times where I was just checking the clock to see how much more of this train wreck I had to endure. Anyway, this is just an introduction and a sample of what is to come. Be on the lookout for new videos in the coming days, inshallah.